Quintus Ennius, c. 239 c. 169 BC was a writer and poet who lived during the Roman Republic. He is often considered the father of Roman poetry. He was born in Rudie, formerly a small town located near modern Lecce in the heel of Italy ancient Calabria, today Salento, and could speak Oscan as well as Latin and Greek. Although only fragments of his work survive, his influence in Latin literature was significant, particularly in his use of Greek literary models. Biography Very little is reliably known about the life of Ennius. His contemporaries hardly mentioned him and much that is related about him could have been embroidered from references to himself in his now fragmentary writings. Some lines of the Annales, as well as ancient testimonies, for example, suggest that Ennius opened his epic with a recollection of a dream in which the ancient epic writer Homer informed him that his spirit had been reborn into Ennius. It is true that the doctrine of the transmigration of souls once flourished in the areas of Italy settled by Greeks, but the statement might have been no more than a literary flourish. Ennius seems to have been given to making large claims, as in the report by Morris Servius Honoratus that he claimed descent from Mesippus, the legendary king of his native district. The partly Hellenized city of Rudie, his place of birth, was certainly in the area settled by the Mesopians. And this, he used to say, according to Aulus Gellius, had endowed him with a triple linguistic and cultural heritage, fancifully described as three hearts, Greek, Oscan, and Latin. The public career of Ennius first really emerges in middle life, when he was serving in the army with the rank of centurion during the Second Punic War. While in Sardinia in the year 204 BC, he is said to have attracted the attention of Cato the Elder and was taken by him to Rome. There he taught Greek and adapted Greek plays for a livelihood, and by his poetical compositions gained the friendship of some of the greatest men in Rome whose achievements he praised. Amongst these were Scipio Africanus and Fulvius Nobilior, whom he accompanied on his Aetolian campaign 189. Afterwards he made the capture of Ambracia, at which he was present, the subject of a play and of an episode in the Annales. It was through the influence of Nobilior's son Quintus that Ennius subsequently obtained Roman citizenship. But he himself lived plainly and simply in the literary quarter on the Aventine Hill with the poet Cecilius Statius, a fellow adapter of Greek plays. At about the age of 70 Ennius died, immediately after producing his tragedy Thyestes. In the last book of his epic poem, in which he seems to have given various details of his personal history, he mentioned that he was in his 67th year at the date of its composition. He compared himself, in contemplation of the close of the great work of his life, to a gallant horse which, after having often won the prize at the Olympic Games, obtained his rest when weary with age. A similar feeling of pride at the completion of a great career is expressed in the memorial lines which he composed to be placed under his bust after death, Let no one weep for me, or celebrate my funeral with mourning, for I still live, as I pass to and fro through the mouths of men. Topic. Literature Ennius continued the nascent literary tradition by writing plays in Greek and Roman style pretexte and palliati, as well as his most famous work, a historic epic in hexameters called the Annales. Other minor works include the Epicharmus, Epigrammata, the Euhemerus, the Hediphagetica, Precepta, Protrepticus, Saturae or Satires, Scipio, and Soda. The Annales The Annales was an epic poem in fifteen books, later expanded to eighteen, covering Roman history from the fall of Troy in 1184 BC down to the censorship of Cato the Elder in 184 BC. It was the first Latin poem to adopt the dactylic hexameter meter used in Greek epic and didactic poetry, leading it to become the standard meter for these genres in Latin poetry. The Annals became a school text for Roman schoolchildren, eventually supplanted by Virgil's Aeneid. About 600 lines survive. A copy of the work is among the Latin rolls of the Herculaneum Library. <laughs> <laughs> Minor works The Epicharmus was inspired by the philosophical hypotheses developed by the Sicilian poet and philosopher Epicharmus of Coes, after which Aeneas's work took its name. In the Epicharmus, the poet describes a dream he had in which he died and was transported to some place of heavenly enlightenment. 
Here, he met Epicharmus, who explained the nature of the gods and taught Ennius the physics of the universe. The Euhemerus presented a theological doctrine based on the ideas Greek of Euhemerus of Messene, who argued that the gods of Olympus were not supernatural powers that interference in the lives of humans, but rather heroes of old who after death were eventually regarded as deities due to their valor, bravery, or cultural impact. This belief is now known as Euhemerism. Both Cicero and Lactantius write that the Euhemerus was a translate ion and a recount ing of Euhemerus's original work The Sacred History, but it is unclear if this means Ennius simply translated the original from Greek into Latin, or added in his own elements. Most of what is preserved of this work comes to us from Lactantius, and these snippets suggest that the Euhemerus was a prose text. The Hediphagetica took much of its substance from the gastronomical epic of Archistratus of Gela. The extant portions of Ennius's poem discuss where a reader might find the best type of fish. Most of the fragments, replete with unique terms for fish and numerous place names, are corrupt or damaged. The Hediphagetica is written in hexameters, but differs from the Annales in regards to metrical practices. This difference is largely due to each work's distinct subject matter. The titles Precepta and Protrepticus were likely used to refer to the same possibly exhortatory work. However, given this work's almost non-existent nature, only the word panibus, an unusual form of the word panis, meaning rags, is preserved in the work of the Latin grammarian Charisius. This position is extremely difficult to verify. The Saturae is a collection of about 30 lines from satirical poems, making it the first extant instance of Roman satire. These lines are written in a variety of poetic meters. The poems in this collection were mostly concerned with practical wisdom, often driving home a lesson with the help of a fable. Ennius's Scipio was a work possibly a panegyric poem that apparently celebrated the life and deeds of Scipio Africanus. Hardly anything remains of this work, and what is preserved is embedded in the works of others. Unfortunately, no quotation of Scipio supplies a context. Some have proposed that the work was written before the Annales, and others have said that the work was written after Scipio's 201 BC triumph that followed the Battle of Zama 202 BC. The Soda was a poem, potentially of some length, named after the Greek poet Sotades. The work, which followed a meter established by Sotades known as the Sotadeus, concerned itself with a disparate number of topics and ideas. Editions. <laughs> Quinto Ennio. La opere minori, volume. I. Precepta, Protrepticus, Saturae, Scipio, Soda. Ed. Tr. Com. Alessandro Russo. Pisa, Edizioni ETS, 2007, Testi e Studi di Cultura Classica, 40. Warmington, E. H. Ennius, Q. Ennius. Remains of Old Latin. Edited by Eric Herbert Warmington. Volume 2, Ennius and Cecilius. Cambridge, Harvard University Press. Topic. See also Latin literature List of ancient Romans Prosody Latin. Topic. Footnotes Topic. Bibliography Eicher, Peter. Summer 1989. Ennius Dream of Homer. The American Journal of Philology. 110, 2, 227 to 232. JSTOR 295173. Editors of Encyclopædia Britannica, February 10, 2016. Ennius. Encyclopædia Britannica Online. Retrieved August 1, 2018, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link. Ennius 2018. Goldberg, Sander M., Manuald, Jacine, eds. Fragmentary Republican Latin. Volume 2, Ennius, Dramatic Fragments. Minor Works. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press. La Barbera, Sandro August 26, 2014. Ennius. Oxford Bibliographies. Oxford University Press. doi.10.1093.obo.9780195.2014. Ennius, Peter. 1891. Mary, William Walter, ed. 1891. 
Selected fragments of Roman poetry, from the earliest times of the Republic to the Augustan age. Oxford, UK, Clarendon Press Smith, William Rudier. A Smaller Classical Dictionary. London, UK, John Murray. Retrieved August 1, 2018. Topic. Further reading Bettini, M. Studi e note su Ennio. Pisa, Giardini. Brooks, R. A. Ennius and Roman Tragedy. New York, Arno Press. ISBN 0 405 14030 4. Elliot, J. Ennius Cunctator and the History of a Gerund in the Roman Historiographical Tradition. The Classical Quarterly. 59-2, Elliot, J. Ennius as Universal Historian, The Case of the Annales. Historiae Mundi, Studies in Universal History. Ed. Peter Liddell and Andrew Fear. London, Bloomsbury Academic, 148-161. Evans, R. L. S. Ennius. In Briggs, Ward. Ancient Roman Writers. Dictionary of Literary Biography, 211. Fisher, J. 2014. The Annals of Quintus Ennius and the Italic Tradition. Baltimore, Johns Hopkins University Press. Fitzgerald, W., and Emily Gowers, eds. 2007. Ennius Perennis. The Annals and Beyond. Proceedings of the Cambridge Philological Society, Supplementary Vol. 31. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Goldberg, S. M. 1995. Epic and Republican Rome. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0 19 509372 0. Goldberg, S. 1989. Poetry, Politics, and Ennius. Transactions of the American Philological Association 119 247 261. Goldschmidt, N. 2012. Absent Presence, Pater Ennius in Renaissance Europe, Classical Receptions Journal, 4 1, 1 19. Goldschmidt, N. 2013. Shaggy Crowns, Ennius Annalis and Virgil's Aeneid. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Jocelyn, H. D. Ennius, Q. Ennius, 1967. The Tragedies of Ennius, The Fragments. Edited by Henry David Jocelyn. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Jocelyn, H. D. 1972. The Poems of Quintus Ennius. Aufstieg und Niedergang der Romischen Welt 1.2. Edited by Hildegard Temperini, 987 1026. Morgan, L. 2014. A Metrical Scandal in Ennius. The Classical Quarterly, 64, 1, 152 159. Cambridge University Press. Chirino, E. The Introduction of Epic in Rome, Cultural Thefts and Social Contests. Arethusa 39 449-469. Scutch, O. Studia Enyana. London, Athlone. Scutch, O. Ennius, Q. Ennius, 1985. The Annals of Q. Ennius. Oxford, Clarendon. External links Quotations related to Ennius at Wikiquote Latin Wikisource has original text related to this article, Ennius Media related to Quintus Ennius at Wikimedia Commons Fragments of Ennius Annals at the Latin Library, text from Wordsworth 1874, line numbering from Warmington 1935. Ennius Annalis, text and translation of all fragments at atalus.org, adapted from Warmington 1935. Ennius, translation of selected fragments at elfenspell.com, from specimens of the poets and poetry of Greece and Rome by various translators 1847. Remains of Old Latin. Volume 1, Ennius and Cecilius, E. H. Warmington A Cura D., Cambridge, London, 1935, P.A.G.G. 1-465. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed., 1911. Ennius, Quintus. Encyclopædia Britannica. 9 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. p. 648-49.